This is my day 40 of using the Google Pixel 7 and today I'm going to walk you through a day in life with this phone. Day 39 was a super rainy day when we went to the Coliseum. Today is totally opposite. Sunny, warm and a great day to go take pictures. The last two days left in Rome, woke up at 8, ready to start the day. Still a little tired. So went to grab some cappuccino, bright and early for breakfast, then walked over towards the Roman Forum, which is actually next to the Colosseum. We chose not to do it yesterday because it was pouring rain. Decided to save it for a sunny day. Here's what it looked like at the entrance. Took a bunch of photos and videos inside. Still crazy that they had these random architecture is right in the middle of the city and you can get a good view even even if you don't pay to go in a couple days ago we just took pictures from the outside and here are the pictures from the inside and once you go inside the forum there's a little path for you to walk towards the Colosseum and get some more pictures from a different view you actually get some nice pictures on this side had to redeem myself from yesterday in the pouring rain would definitely recommend coming here if you're ever in Rome Pixel 7 general take great videos and photos. This video is actually recorded on the Pixel 7. I'm just in my office, have the lights on. No crazy lights were set up in the back. Just my tripod set up on my desk and recording from here. In general, during the day with plenty of daylight, the Pixel 7 would take great photos, so no issues there. Luckily, we saved the Roman form on a sunny day. So we're able to do that. The Roman Forum and the Palatine Hill is actually connected to each other. If you guys ever do come to Rome, just buy the package deal for all three together. Totally worth it. And at around noon, my phone was at 63%. Was very tired of Italian food towards the end of the trip. So we made our way to a fala restaurant. Got some spring rolls and good old fashioned pho. Surprisingly, this is pretty good. There's a whole bunch of other fusion restaurants around, but this one tastes pretty authentic. At least 90% of the way there, which is good enough for me. After that, did some shopping at a leather shop. I believe everything in here is made by this old man, which is pretty cool. I bought a belt and a wallet here. Prices are pretty reasonable. Here's what it looks like inside of the shop. Then we did some more walking. Trevi Fountain is still packed regardless of what time of the day. Here's me on the Spanish steps. Made it all the way to the top again. Took another picture of one of the best view of Rome. At 4 p.m. my phone was at 26%. Towards the evening, grabbed some more bubble tea. This time, there was Bailey in the bu bubble tea, so that's pretty cool. Don't think I ever had liquor bubble tea before, but pretty good. Walked around one of the bridge at night, took a photo. So here's a nice shot for you guys. Was navigating to this restaurant. Took us like 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes to walk there just to find out that it was closed. So I went on Google Maps and added them as temporary closed. They say they were open. We tried to check the front side. But maybe it's the slow season, so people just took a day off, I guess. 5.30, my phone is at 9%, so the end is near. We end up going to another pizza place. Got a salami pizza. Took another night photo. Then we went for some dessert at Mr. Tiramisu. Nice little place. Would definitely recommend it if you guys are into Tiramisu. Here's what it looks like on the inside and the sign in front. Made it back to the hotel, eight o'clock. Got 6% left. Just gonna turn off my phone and charge it for a little bit and then head back out. After taking a short break at the hotel, we headed out one more time just to enjoy the evening on a Wednesday night, which is more quiet. During the day, we can't get a clean picture of this monument. Here it is. Sent a snapshot to my friend of the Spanish ships. Took a couple more pictures. Made our way over to the Mont Pensil. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. It's usually pretty packed here during the day as well. But we're able to get some peace and quiet at night. Saw a billboard of the iPhone 14. 
so decided to mimic the picture for fun. Then made our way back to the hotel. This is definitely one of the longer day that I have. I did charge up the phone briefly before going on this walk just to make sure that we're going to have enough battery to make it through the last couple hours at night. Then before going to bed, I checked the screen on time. For some reason, it was three and a half hours of screen on time. Not sure if it's just me or screen on time is getting worse as these day go by. But who knows, I've been using my phone pretty much the same throughout the whole trip. Not sure how accurate these readings are, but in general, it will last me anywhere from 8 to 12 hours depending on usage. And then I have the battery pack to charge it up depending on the day. Well, there you have it guys. This is day 40 with the Google Pixel 7. The end is near. Please check out day 39 if you haven't already. Once again, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be covering the Google Pixel 7 Pro after day 42. Let me know if there's any anything in particular you want me to cover. Please like and subscribe and see you guys in the next video.